New at 6 o'clock tonight, no notice, no payment. That's what dozens of workers say they got after doing weeks of honest hard work. Those employees said that they had no idea the company was shutting down until they got this letter saying that employees would not be paid. Tonight we are hearing from one family now struggling to make ends meet. They spoke to our Roseanne Aragon. She's live in spring with this story tonight. Roseanne? That's right, we actually checked the address here in Spring on Cypresswood Drive, the supposed address. The doors have since been locked and everything inside is pretty much cleared out. He said a week ago, some, a project manager had said everything was okay. He didn't know he wouldn't get paid. Valerie Gilkison is at a loss. Her husband, Stephen, a pipeline worker for American Pipeline and Construction, received this letter yesterday. We are as shocked by this as each of A letter from the company telling workers a day before payday. The company's equity partner seized all of company assets, and as such, there are no funds for payroll. Heart-dropping shock to know that he sacrificed his time away from his family and now he's not gonna get reimbursed for that. Her husband had spent three weeks working for American Pipeline and Construction, working around the clock in Cuero. He's now taken a job in Louisiana to keep earning. You're giving that company everything you have, blood, sweat, tears, everything to find out that they're not even going to pay you. His family is planning to take vacation next week, but now they're worrying about making ends meet. It's taking food out of my kid's mouth. There's several that had literally have $90 to their name. They have nothing left. They were waiting on this check. The company leaders whose website once touted excellent service in pipeline construction and repair are now nowhere to be found. <laughs> No one answers. The letter stating all of company's officers have resigned. Their listed contact for the equity company. Mailbox is full. And then the parent company, Murphy Energy Group. Sorry, I couldn't help. Please call back later. Goodbye. Minutes later, both websites were inaccessible. It's very frustrating that a company can get away with that. Now, as you can see, for the most part, everything in there has been cleared out. I spoke with other people who work for other businesses in the building. They say they haven't seen anyone in this suite in a week. This family says they are now just having to make do. Reporting live in spring, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.